Yeah, far different scene, Doug and Nicole, from what you guys saw earlier tonight. You know, as loud and excited as this place was at the start of the game, it's now at the same level of quiet and dejected. You know, when you cover one of these watch parties, you want the team to at least do well, if not win. But TCU fans still have a lot to be proud of, even if tonight didn't go well. She couldn't make the trip to L.A., but TCU student Austin Ginn was among several thousand fans who instead found their way to Schollmeyer Arena on the campus for the next best thing. I'm so grateful to be a part of this. I mean, this is great. I don't, I'm speechless. I could cry walking in the stadium today just to be here. Ginn and others watched a simulcast of the national championship game on video screens inside TCU's basketball arena. So there was no way I was going to miss this. And I really believe we're going to win tonight. I just hope they flash us up, you know, on the scoreboard for the guys to see, all the fans back home. I just want to witness the greatness tonight, so. Pretty much what she said, because yeah. we never gotten this far before, so yeah. we want to witness greatness tonight. After the team's first big play and score, the crowd erupted in cheers, hoping that energy would carry all the way to SoFi Stadium, where for the first time in 85 years, the Horned Frogs played for a national championship. Alumni like Lynn Miller brought their kids to witness history, aware that they may never see it again. I think that we're all um, just just taking it in. We've been fans for a long time. I have uh, pictures of each of them when they are tiny and had to be carried coming to games. So the game the game is over, as you know, and this place is pretty much cleared out. We've got a few fans who stuck around for us. Pam and Noah, your longtime TCU fans, your thoughts on tonight? Well, it was very exciting to be here, and we're very proud of the Frogs to come from being unrated to number two, and they played their hearts out, and we're just very proud of them. Go Frogs! And um, Haley, you're a TCU alum. You must, uh, you must be taking this pretty hard. Uh, yes, but I can't tell you, after being a Horn Frog fan for 25 years, to come second in the nation, how can we, how can you be disappointed? Max Duggan came brought this team from seventh ranked going into this in the Big 12 and he brought us to the national championship and we are just so proud to be frogs we're excited we're happy for the team this does so much for our opportunity moving forward into the Big 12 the frogs they just they represented us so well and we are proud to be we're proud to be here we're proud to be a part of the the horn frog nation well put you may have a future as a sports reporter <laughs> thanks a lot Haley You're thanks welcome. Pam and Noah you know, um, I spoke to some other Horn Frog fans, and they all pretty much are taking this in stride. They knew this team was an underdog, and they're already looking forward to next year. Back to you, Doug and Nicole. The thing about being an underdog, JD, is that when you try to come back the second time, it's even sweeter. So we, we're rooting them on for even next year. JD, thank mm -hmm. you so much.